But yeah, I want to speak about protein and these days I make a very conscious effort not to consume too much. Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome to the video. I hope you are all keeping well. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the meal plan that I would put in place for myself to make losing fat as easy as it can possibly be. And those of you who watch my videos regularly will know that you do not need to eat the same thing every single day to lose fat. So strict meal plans in that sense are complete bullshit. However, it does really help to know what works best for you in terms of the foods that are gonna keep you full and satisfied, in terms of how to spread your meals and your calories out throughout the day, in terms of where to put your snacks. And these are all things that I'm gonna be talking about today and I suppose gaining this knowledge and seeing what my approach is is gonna benefit you so much. So yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy the video and let's get some breakfast. All right, so this is an absolute banger of a recipe. And I'm gonna start by adding some veg to a pan. So half of a red pepper, half of a yellow pepper and half of an onion all chopped up into little pieces. I'm gonna season with some sea salt, some smoked paprika and some chili powder. Completely forgot the spinach. So add 50 grams of spinach leaves in there as well. And now that a few minutes have passed, I'm gonna add in 150 ml of egg whites that you get from bulk. And you wanna scramble the egg whites in like so. So this is how we are looking. Then you wanna make two little holes in the scramble and crack an egg into each one. All right, so everything minus the wonky egg yolk on the left. This one here is looking pretty spot on. And now I'm gonna serve it up on two slices of low calorie bread. Let's put the rest on the side. And I'm also gonna make room for 50 grams of salsa. I am a big fan of this meal when the goal is to lose fat because it just ticks a lot of the main boxes. So it's calorie friendly, lots of protein, plenty of volume in there between the egg whites and the veg. And on top of that, there are some healthy fats in there from the two whole eggs used. So it's a nice, well-rounded meal overall. And when I'm in a calorie deficit, I personally like to push this first meal back by a few hours. So I get up at 6 a.m., I'll get some caffeine in, get some work done, I will go to the gym, come home, shower, etc., and then I will have this first meal at about 10, 11 a.m. And I personally like this approach because I don't really mind, you know, being a little bit hungry in the morning. It doesn't massively affect my workout either. And that way I can just save, you know, slightly more calories for later in the day when I feel like I need them more. And I actually wanna speak about something that I do completely differently now in terms of calories when my goal is to lose fat versus what I would have done maybe three, four, five years ago. But first let's go to my next meal. So this meal usually comes at about 2 p.m. And as you can see, I have 100 150 grams of raw chicken breast in a bowl. I'm gonna coat that with some one calorie spray. I'm gonna coat it with some Himalayan pink salt and some Cajun. Mix it around like so, so everything sticks. And then I'm just gonna leave my chicken to one side as the pan heats up. And as you can see, I have cut 200 grams of sweet potato into little slices like so. I'm gonna put them in the air fryer, spray them with a little bit of one cal spray and season with some sea salt and some garlic as well. Give it a little shake and let them cook away for about 10 minutes on 200 degrees Celsius. Give them a little shake halfway as well. All right, so let's get the chicken on the pan. Let it cook away for a few minutes. And when there is about five minutes left on your chicken, add in 150 grams of tender stem broccoli. Season with some Himalayan salt and some garlic again. Make sure you are not going on a date after this meal. And when there is only a few minutes left on your sweet potatoes, sprinkle 30 grams of low fat cheese on top. So the thing I actually really like about this meal is that it's so, so basic. Like chicken, potatoes, broccoli. Most people would roll their eyes at something like that. But, you know, this just goes to show that with a bit of seasoning, a bit of cheese, it can actually be pretty appealing. And the thing that I actually really like about chicken and tender stem broccoli is that they're quite chewy. You know, they're quite tough to eat. So 
even compare chicken to egg whites, for example. Egg whites are higher in volume, so you can get a bigger portion of egg whites than you can chicken for the same calories, but egg whites are a much, much softer food, and I don't know if it's me personally, I don't even need to chew egg whites. I can put a huge portion of egg whites in my mouth, and if I wanted, I could swallow them whole. Whereas with chicken, you kind of have to take your time a little bit more. You have to chew a little bit more, and the same goes for tender stem broccoli in comparison to other vegetables, like mushrooms, for example. And the reason that this can actually work to your advantage on lower calories is because if something takes you longer to eat, if you need to chew it more, then the likelihood of you feeling more full and more satisfied after that meal is gonna increase. And as I said before that meal, when my goal is to lose fat, I take a completely different approach now to what I would have done previously, and I make the conscious effort to spread my calories more evenly throughout the day. Because when I used to diet, I would always try and save a massive chunk of calories for the evening times, and even though you know, I would still be on track with my calories, I'd still be on track with my protein, and um, I would still be losing fat at a decent rate. The real reason I was doing it was because I could just snack on lots and lots of lower quality foods before going to bed. And it just wasn't the healthiest approach. It didn't make me feel good. So now, even though I still like saving some of my calories for the evening time, I won't restrict myself as much during the day. I'll have bigger meals. And as a result, my hunger is lower, my food focus is lower, and my energy is higher, my mood is higher, and it's just better. But yeah, I would actually love to know what kind of approach you guys take when it comes to you know, how you remain consistent with your deficit. Do you consume most of your calories in the morning? Do you consume most of your calories in the evening like I used to? Uh, do you spread your calories out more evenly throughout the day? Because at the end of the day, nobody is the same. Like one approach might be perfect for one person, but absolutely terrible for the other. Uh, so yeah, comment below and let me know. So at about 4 p.m., which is two hours after my lunch and about two hours before dinner, I always like to have a little bit of a snack to fill the hole. But at the same time, I'm, I'm always very cautious not to waste too many calories, especially on mindlessly snacking because if you do that is a sure way to make your calorie deficit a lot harder to stick to that being said if you are snacking on certain foods then very few calories can go a long long way so what I have here is 300 grams of mixed fruit I always heat them up in the microwave for a little bit just so they are not completely frozen and just for some extra flavor I like using some bulk zero calorie maple syrup on top and I'm a big big fan of this zero calorie maple syrup I literally have to stop myself from drinking it from the bottle because it tastes so good. So yeah, next time you're picking something up from bulk and if you haven't tried this, make sure to add it to your basket. You will not regret it. And of course, if you are picking anything up from bulk, then make sure to go through the link in the description of this video. I would appreciate it a lot. But yeah, berries are such a good food to include in any lower calorie diet because one, they are super high in volume. So a big bowl, 300 grams, is only 117 calories. And two, berries, especially strawberries and raspberries, contain lots of fiber. And fiber, along with protein, is a really, really good nutrient for keeping you full and satisfied. But yeah, let's cook up some dinner and if you think that you cannot have something extremely extremely tasty when on lower calories wait till you see this meal oh and i actually want to speak about protein as well and why i follow a lower protein diet than what i used to when i am on lower calories uh but yeah first let's go to this meal so i'm gonna add half of a red pepper half of a yellow pepper and half of an onion that i've chopped into strips to a pan. That is followed by 240 grams of lean turkey sausages that I put into little pieces. I'm gonna season with some fajita seasoning and some garlic. And I'm also gonna add in 20 grams of tomato puree and mix it in. And as my sausage pieces and veg are cooking away over here, I've got 50 grams of whole wheat spaghetti cooking away in a saucepan. Okay, so everything is looking pretty much good to go. And what I'm actually gonna do is scoop a few tablespoons spoons of pasta water into um, the sausages and the veg. Then I'm gonna add in 30 grams of light or lightest Philadelphia, whatever you have. And this is just low fat soft cheese. Then I am going to mix it in like so. Then I'm gonna add my drained spaghetti in. Give it another mix. And then you just want to serve this baby up. This meal goes down as a bit of a goat, in my opinion. Like, I think it's one of those meals you scratch your head at and you're like, how 
How is that calorie friendly? But it is. Uh, but yeah, comment below and let me know what you think. Out of the meals I've made today so far, so the cheesy fajita spaghetti, the huevos rancheros on toast, uh, the chicken tender stem broccoli and sweet potatoes, what has been your favorite? But yeah, I wanna speak about protein and these days I make a very conscious effort not to consume too much because don't get me wrong a high protein diet is great it's great for muscle growth it's great in a calorie deficit because protein is a really filling macronutrient when dieting before my protein was super super high i was probably eating something like 2.8 to 3 grams of protein per kg of my body weight per day and as a result of that as a result of my protein being so high i was following a low carb and a low fat diet because I just simply couldn't get enough of those nutrients um, in my diet without going over on my calories. And this wasn't good. Like it wasn't good for um, my overall energy levels, for my performance in the gym, for hormonal function. It just wasn't good for my overall health in general. So for most people, and this does depend on a few factors, but when you're on lower calories, I recommend setting yourself a protein goal of somewhere between 1.6 and 2.2 grams of protein per kg of your body weight per day. And don't get me wrong, it's completely okay to slightly surpass this range but when you're on lower calories I do recommend not following the super super high protein diets and instead dedicate those extra calories to your carbs and to your fats so you are following a more well-rounded diet okay so final meal of the day usually comes at around 8 p.m. which is an hour and a half or so before I go to bed I always like to be in bed by half nine at the latest so even if it takes me a while to fall asleep which it usually does um, I'm still getting a pretty good sleep. Whether I am cutting or bulking, the final meal of the day is usually, I bet you some people already know exactly what it is, my egg white protein porridge. And I actually only made this a couple of videos ago, so I didn't want to bore everybody by making it again. But if you didn't see it, I will leave the link to that video, hopefully on screen, if I can do that. If not, down in the description box below so you can check it out. But yeah, ingredients are really, really simple. So of course, there's oats in there. There is double chocolate informed whey from bulk. I have the egg whites from bulk as well, the powdered peanut butter from bulk, and I actually have these crushed almond pieces, uh, which are something that I've only got onto since I moved to Spain. I'm not sure if you can get them at home, but I usually alternate between these and pieces of dark chocolate. Both good sources of fat. Well, yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video up there, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this little insight into how I would personally structure a lower calorie diet gives you some inspiration and gives you some tips. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the meals as well. If you did, comment below and let me know every Every single comment goes a long, long way. Um, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up if you can. If you are not somebody who leaves a comment under a YouTube video, then please leave a thumbs up. Do one or the other or both. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all keeping well and I will see you in the next video.